So, hey, Kickstarter, uh, I know you guys are enjoying our Lords of Vegas campaign. I hope uh, everybody's gotten a chance to see what we're doing for that game. But I wanted to take a moment now that we're like two weeks into the campaign to show off uh, another game that's by some friends of ours who are also here in Seattle. And I think you're going to love what you see here. I want to introduce my friend Jordan Weissman. Jordan, how you doing? Mike, all right, how you doing? I'm doing great, I'm doing great. Um, I'm excited about uh, seeing what you have today because you and I have in the past worked on several games together, um, yeah. Battletech and and so forth. But, but one of the games that's sort of most near and dear to our heart is a little game we did with a bunch of little pop-out pirate ships called Pirates of the Spanish Main. Indeed, I love that game. Yeah, that was super fun. It was one of WizKids' early games, I think. It was like, you know, and you, you brought us in and you were like, okay, so pirates, but what if you could like make the ships? And I was like- Yeah, no, it was, it was after, we, uh, after we became part of Tops, and uh, I was looking at um, kind of their distribution network and I was like, I want to put a game entirely into a foil pack right. and I want to make the playing pieces out of like punch out styrene uh, and so, yeah, I came up with the idea of doing pirates and, and then sat down with you and James and we kind of talked through a bunch of different, uh, different kinds of mechanics. And uh, I just loved the way that game went. It was simple, it was elegant, it was fun. Uh, and uh, we got to play with it for years. Yeah, it was like, I thought it was going to be kind of a little one-off thing and then there were 15 expansions. <laughs> yeah. So it was pretty great. So, but it, the, the history is kind of nice there because, um, that was literally the first game Lone Shark Games ever worked on. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah, no, James and I formed the company um, as you two were talking about it for the first time. He'd done a little uh, draft of the mechanics and he was like, Mike, there's like a million pirate ships here and they all gotta be different and somebody's gotta write text for them. That sounds like you. And I'm like, <laughs> And you and you said, yeah, that sounds like you too, Mike. And uh, so that sounds um, very much like James. Like, oh, here's our here's the hard work, Mike. Yeah, yeah. Well, the great thing about me and James is we each think the other one does the hard part of the uh, job, so it works out. So we made pirates, uh, but the second game we made was Lords of Vegas, right? So, um, so that was like that was some good synergy there, and you know, I've always appreciated you for bringing us into that project and really giving. Uh, Lone Shark Games a, a, a solid kick in the right direction as, as I'm sure you know you often thought I want to give Mike a solid kick <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's crossed my mind more admittedly more with James than Mike but yeah sure I mean, sure, you know, sure, sure. sure there, I can see that the desire to put the boot in as they say you <laughs> yeah. know does come up every once in a while yeah so let's take uh so so let's flash forward so that was a game that we could make at the time. It was a pirate game that made sense with the tools we had. We had polystyrene, we had some cards. We didn't have much else. Little tiny dice, remember? We little had, that was Julianne Parsons' idea. Let's put the dice in there too. <laughs> oh my God. We like, had How so are we gonna do that? She found these incredibly small dice. <laughs> there, there were so many tiny little dice. <laughs> I had to clean them out of my carpet. But, um, but now uh, more t you have, um, let's say, a little more resources, a little more tools. And well, so yeah, I mean, uh, the, the world has changed um, uh, uh, in many ways, not all for the better, but, uh, but we do have more capabilities than we did in those days for making cool games. That's certainly true. So ch let's, let's talk about the new one. So yeah, um, it's a, what a great segue from uh, um, both uh, Pirates of the Spanish Main uh, and then you stayed very much in the gambling theme going into Lord's It's Vegas. true. Uh, we do like games. Yeah. It's, it's funny. We're both American designers and it's not difficult to tell, <laughs> right? Like, like, you know, you go to a conference like Essen where there's all these German and French designers and they, they see us coming because we're the ones who are like, what if you rolled a lot of dice? <laughs> what, if, what if, what if anything could happen? Right. And so pirate game, uh, Vegas game really makes sense to sort of just get to explore. It's not all random. Like that's, that's sort no, of- No, no, it can't be all random. It's, it's sort of a disguise, right? Gambling is really just about an enthusiasm, right? It's oh, about yeah. like, like you don't know quite what's gonna occur, but it's the right thing to do to find out. So the new one that, uh, that uh, Zach, uh, my son and, and his partner, Ryan, uh, have been working on and I've been, uh, I've been allowed 
with them uh, is uh, a game we're calling uh, Sea of Legends. And it is uh, a bookend to the discussion we just had because it is a return to the pirate genre. Um, and you just, you got to do an arg in there someplace. Just sure. Just, you you got to. Anyway. Uh, Again, you're a pirate. So you yeah, can do anything. No, that's Scottish. That's what I <laughs> Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so it's a return to the pirate genre. And, and you know, there's no question that the Pirates of the Spanish Main that we worked on all those years ago uh, was definitely a touchstone for us, right? We wanted something that um, uh, had uh, an accessibility like that. Um, but we really, in this case, wanted to um, really dive more into the kind of swashbuckly storytelling, right? Um, in the uh, original game, you know, they had a crew, <coughs> um, but they were kind of a number. They weren't, wasn't that much to them, you know, individually. We came up with some kind of cool backstories from which was fun, um, but the, those stories wouldn't um, evolve in, during the course of it in terms of their individual adventures. Uh, in Sea of Legends, it's a very character story. Um, you have uh, your captain, you have a, a lover, you have a nemesis, um, and you have these big dynamic world events which are changing the landscape of the Caribbean around you, um, and uh, and your stories uh, that you create between your actions and the actions of the play on board um, really creates a weighted anthology of um, this kind of insane Earl Flynn, you know, Pirates of the Caribbean kind of of uh, of wonderful nonsense. Yeah, that's. I mean, that sounds amazing, right? I mean, like you know, the 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 genre just automatically appeals to me right out of the gate, right? Now this is, you know, I've done a few pirate games, right? But 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 I mean, the fact that you have uh, an app that gives you a a running story, but you also have like cards that grow and advance and things like that. Um, well, now I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. Maybe we should just take a look at it. In an age of piracy, captains bury treasure, hunt down relics, find true love, and clash with nemeses as strange creatures gather across the Caribbean. Endless adventures await. Are you a brazen cutthroat or a rogue with a heart of gold? Your choices matter, for ancient powers awaken and lost civilizations return. Oceans rise and empires fall as shifting tides create uneasy alliances and the fate of the Caribbean hangs in the balance. Myths come to life and legends are made in Sea of Legends. All right, so Sea of Legends, let's sort of get into what happens in the game. So, yeah, Mike, I, I mean, the Pirates of the Spanish Main we worked on all those years ago uh, was definitely a touchstone for us as we were working on this game. We loved the kind of accessibility that that game had, the diversity of, of ships and characters. Um, and what we wanted to add to it was, well, um, well, a number of things. One, big, beautiful figures. <laughs> yeah. As much as those styrene, the styrene ships were cool, um, you know, we just loved building, being able to create cool characters because this is a much more character-focused game as opposed to the other one, which was much more ship-focused, right? The crew were um, augments to the ship. In this case, the ship is an augment uh, to the to the characters because this is a much more character-driven experience, um, both with your um, your pirate captain, their lover, their nemesis, uh, all the other captains and their lovers and nemesis, and uh, the world events, these kind of uh, titanic um, mythological things that are happening to the to the Caribbean around you, just like uh, poor Johnny Depp had to suffer through in Pirates <laughs> of the Caribbean. Um, so we've got that mixed together of, of kind of a lot of, of um, sandbox mechanics on the board um, with really integrated storytelling, which is where the app comes in and, and allows all of those mechanics um, that are happening between the players to result in really unique stories that are being generated through this um, super sophisticated system we came up with. Uh, so that really weaves together all the different characters on the board into um, uh, kind of a woven anthology that develops over the course of the game. That's That looks amazing. Uh, I think people are really gonna like it. Oh, well, thank you. And uh, I mean, we're excited to get you to uh, to contribute a story or two. I know uh, right now you're a little busy, but <laughs> just, a little, just a little, just a little. One of the great things about the app is we can be rolling in new stories all the time. And I was super excited that you were uh, up for uh, for 
writing one or two for us. I definitely would love to. I mean, the the uh, environment is great. I know, uh, sort of playing through that first demo story, I was like, I already started talking like one of the characters, and I can sort of see what what they'll become, right? So, like, okay, now I want to make now I want to make the the next evolution of that. So, yeah, I think everybody's going to want to contribute one and way there's got to be there's got to be a way we can take some of the uh the, the more colorful characters and uh environments that you've got in uh in vegas and <laughs> imagine their ancient ancestors well, wandering around the caribbean well i mean it's not crazy because you know in the future one of the cool things about the lords of vegas campaign and what we're planning to do now we're laying the groundwork with underworld is we want to like you know like we have, we've got these five casino types but we want to eventually just expand the universe and make our own vegas right so there's no reason there's already a giant pirate ship on las vegas boulevard right there is no reason it can't have its story in this game <laughs> uh first so i could definitely see that happening there's crossover potential my friend <laughs> indeed All there right. always is when there's money on the table, right? there <laughs> is in Vegas, and the there's gold coins on the deck in, in Sea of Legends, there's it's a way right. to make it happen. There is, there is. All right, this was great. I can't wait to uh, show it off to my folks. Uh, I think it's going to be really great, and I hope you have a fantastic Kickstarter campaign. Thank you so much, and the same to you, and uh, always enjoy working with you. Sounds great. See you later.